Mr. President, over here in Cebu, especially in the province, we have a saying, Dili sulti ang pabuhaton, buhat ang pasultion. Gawa, hindi salita. And this is probably why in the last elections of 2022, the Cebuanos rallied behind the true, authentic leader that we wish for to be led for the next six years because we saw that he too has adopted that principle. Buhat ang pasultion, gawa hindi salita. <laughs> More so, you know, we also have this principio sa pangalagad. Ang saad angay tumanon. Ang pangako kailangang tuparin. And in his first State of the Nation address last year, the President clearly said it. The BRT in Cebu will finally be implemented. That was a promise. This is the fulfillment of that promise. Ang saad, angay, tumanon. And so, gikan sa kinahiladman sa among kasing-kasing, pinalangga na mong presidente. Gikan sa kinauyukan sa among pagbati. From the very bottom of our hearts and our deepest, deepest emotions of joy and appreciation, daghan kaayong salamat. President Ferdinand BBM, babangon tayo muli, Marcos Jr. Daghang salamat. Thank you very much, Governor Gwendolyn Fiel Garcia. Now, please direct your attention to the screens in front for your short video presentation of the Cebu Bus Rapid Transit Project. Faster, comfortable, reliable, cost-effective. This is what we aspire to offer to Cebu. With the goal of bringing a better public transportation service in highly urbanized areas, the Department of Transportation is introducing the Bus Rapid Transit System in Cebu with the Cebu Bus Rapid Transit Project. Today, we broke ground to commence the institution of the country's first BRT system, which will see the establishment of a 13.18 kilometer segregated lane with 17 stations, one depot, and one chunk terminal from the South Road properties in Cebu City's South District to North District's IT Park. The segregated lane will also be complemented by a 22.1 kilometer bus feeder system, which will run over mixed traffic, with two feeder terminals and 76 bus stops across the province of Cebu. BRT ultimately aims to combine the speed and capacity of a train with the lower cost and flexibility of buses to improve the overall performance of Cebu's urban passenger transport system in terms of quality, level of service, safety, and environmental efficiency. Equipped with high-tech features and innovative systems, the country's first BRT is expected to cater to more than 60,000 passengers daily during its first year of operation. Package 1 of the CBRT will cover the construction of a link to the port for the urban realm enhancement and the BRT infrastructure along Osmania Boulevard. This consists of four bus stations, namely Capital Station, Fuente Station, Cebu Normal University Station, and Cebu South Bus Terminal Station. 
in addition to offering a new, state-of-the-art public transport infrastructure, the BRT will provide greater job security and working conditions for current public transport drivers and other stakeholders and support economic development through travel time savings, environmental improvements, and road crash incidents reduction for all residents and visitors of Cebu. The Cebu BRT will resume partial operations in 2024 with its full service operation for 17 stations, one trunk terminal, two feeder terminals, one bus depot, and three feeder lines slated in 2025. Oh, no, no, no. Thank you to the RTPIU team for the presentation. Sana At this point, to give us a our guest of honor, may we call on Transportation Secretary Jaime J. Bautista. Ito na, magtatalumpati na ang ating mahal na Pangulo. Your Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Maayong buntag sa inyo na tanan. On behalf of the hardworking men and women of the road sector of the Department of Transportation, I am proud to present to the President the Cebu Bus Rapid Transit Project, the first mass transit system in Cebu City and the first bus rapid transit in the Philippines. We break ground today to launch an innovative urban passenger transport system that will raise the level of service, safety, and environmental efficiency in this part of the country. This 16.3 billion project will bring multiple benefits to the residents of Metro Cebu. The 13.18 kilometer Cebu bus rapid transit will not only reduce travel time between Cebu's north and south districts, but also boost economic productivity in various communities through the efficient mobility of passengers, passengers, goods, and services. The project likewise promises to provide better job security and working conditions for the public utility vehicle drivers and reduce vehicle and pedestrian accidents. For the information of our Cebuano friends, did you know that according to the official records, 34 people die every day on the road in the Philippines? Therefore, the safety dimension of the Cebu BRT should not be trivialized. While the segregated lanes are exclusive for public utility vehicles, the transit line includes a 22.1 kilometer feeder line system that connects to roads with mixed traffic dotted by 76 bus stops. The project even includes improvements in pedestrian lanes. The Cebu BRT provides equitable access, convenient, comfortable, safe and secure public transport to Cebuanos. We hope to see this project fully operational by the second quarter of 2025. It can accommodate as many as 160,000 passengers a day. This project would not be possible without the financing support of the World Bank and the French Development Agency. Let me also express our gratitude to the Cebu local government for its unequivocal support. We reached this launch of the project only after meticulous preparations with the collaboration of the provincial and city governments of Cebu. We are confident that the Cebu BRT will significantly enhance the commuting experience of Cebuanos and begin the transformation of Cebu's transport landscape. This innovative transport project serves as a meaningful present of our president to the people of Cebu. At this point, I have the distinct honor to introduce the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, 
Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Yan. Pakinggan natin mga tol ang kalumpati ng ating mahal na Pangulo. Thank you, uh, our uh, Transportation Secretary, Jimmy Bautista, for your message and uh, uh, introduction. Please sit down. Uh, the, he has joined us. Um, I think he is here to see where his money is going. So the House Speaker, Martin uh, Romualdez, naninigurado siya na yung inappropriate nila ay mapunta sa tamang lugar. And so far, I think he's happy with the results. The, uh, mem <laughs> Madam Ambassador from, of the uh, French Embassy to the Philippines, Her Excellency Michelle Bocos. <laughs> the members of the cabinet who are here today, Cebu Province Governor uh, Gwen Garcia, who has... Uh, who has uh, inspired us with her passion and her energy and the way that she runs Cebu, Cebu province. And uh, we use it as an example of a way to run the rest of the country. <laughs> Cebu City Mayor Mike Rama, uh, we have been, uh, you, if you saw us, we were talking very, because this has been something that we have been discussing also for a very, very long time. Well, Mayor Mike, uh, here we are now in the uh, groundbreaking. My fellow workers in government, the uh, other distinguished guests who are here with us today, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Maayong Adlao, Cebu. It is an honor to be with you for this groundbreaking ceremony of the Civil Works Package 1 of the Cebu Ras pa Bus Rapid Transit or CBRT project. First of all, we must commend the Department of Transportation for initiating the first bus rapid transit project in the Philippines. As usual, nauna na naman ang Cebu. Cebu, once again, leads the way. We would not uh, be here without their dedication, their hard work and persistence in this endeavor. As uh, the Secretary mentioned in his message, there was it involved a great deal of very meticulous planning uh, to get it absolutely correct. And I think that they have done a good job and that is why we are here today. So my kudos to you for breaking ground on the, this project after more than a decade since it was first envisioned. Today we are finally here to implement this plan and recalibrate the transport system of Metro Cebu. Thank you for helping provide the Filipino with more efficient, reliable, comfortable, and safer travel alternatives. There is no doubt that the fruits of your hard work will result in building modern and sustainable transit mechanisms that advance our citizenry's quality of life. Secondly, I convey my gratitude to our partners in the, from the World Bank and the French Development Agency for being the active partners that they have to re be able to realize this project, the modern public transport system in Cebu and the first one in the Philippines. I thank also our partners. <laughs> the, our partners from the Hunan Road and Bridge Construction Group Corporation Limited for working with our government for this CBRT project. I know that I have uh, seen the work that they do at uh, maasahan natin when the, when the secretary assures us that uh, we will start at least uh, the start operations by December. Uh, I, I think that uh, they will be able to do it on time as the record speaks for itself. So we thank you all for your assistances that will surely translate to a better quality of life for Cebuanos. I want to remind the DOTR to ensure the just compensation of the property owners who will be affected by the CBRT project. I also urge you to find ways that uh, to properly relocate the affected informal settler families. On this note, 
Kaya set set Jimmy, we have to get kailangan tama ang gawin natin. Kundi kakatukan tayo ni Gwen Gwen at saka ni Mayor Mike. On this note, I also take uh, the opportunity to on the DOTR and other stakeholders to finish this project within the target completion timeline. I think that uh, if we, in fact, uh, start operations uh, in December, that will be the best possible Christmas gift that we can give to Cebu. Uh, that, that is Cebuanos, at this juncture, let me uh, assure Filipino, all the Filipinos that this BRT system has been planned thoroughly and studied by both the national and the local governments of Cebu. It's, this has been this has spanned years and across many administrations, and it is modeled after the other BRT systems, such as the ones that we see in Seoul, in South Korea, in Guangzhou, in China, amongst others. And this is package one that we are uh, the ground that we are breaking ground on today. Package one we will that will construct a 2.38 kilometer segregated bus lane with four bus stations. It will also include a 1.15 kilometer pedestrian improvement, which will link the CBRT system to the port of Cebu. The entire CBRT system, there are three phases. The entire CBRT system, which comprises three packages, is designed to accommodate 83 12-meter buses by its opening year. In the future, this will be increased and expanded to accommodate more and longer buses. Apart from the greater convenience that it will bring to our people, I'm sure it will also provide greater opportunities and improve the conditions for all our current public transport drivers. I trust it will also support economic development through travel time savings, environmental improvements, and reduction of accidents among residents and visitors of the city. As part of this endeavor, we will also pursue the urban realm enhancement projects for the beautification of the city along the BRT corridor. <laughs> this will include the building of structures that promote non-motorized modes of travel, like walking, like uh, bicycle lanes. And as we begin this project, I know that there will be slight inconveniences and traffic congestion, as if Cebu does not have enough, but, uh, the, but we will have to accommodate the construction process for the greater benefits that will come in the future. I invite everyone to remain patient, to be considerate, as these temporary, temporary disturbances and interruptions are aimed at pushing long-term benefits for the city and for the province. Rest assured that the national government remains committed to improving economic activities in the many parts of our country through the introduction of innovative solutions to public transport and the improvement of mobility infrastructure amongst others. My administration resolutely supports you in exploring ways to improve our public transport systems and in forging partnerships that will help the Philippines keep up with the innovative interventions of other progressive countries. Together, let us accelerate our drive for a better and brighter Philippines by pushing for more holistic approaches that will enable us to build a much better, more comfortable future for all Filipinos. Dagang salamat, mabuhay po kayong lahat. Maraming salamat at magandang maga po. Thank you, Mr. President. Let us give the President a round of applause. Yun, napakinggan natin yung talumpati ng ating mahal na Pangulo. Pero mas nakakatouch po yung sinasabi ng iba. Katulad ni Governor Gwen Garcia. di ba sabi niya, gawa hindi salita. <laughs> Nakita niyo po yon sa mga bashers ng ating mahal na Pangulong Bongbong Marcos. Baka naman, baka naman, pahiya na naman kayo ngayon. Ano? Kasi ang Pangulo, tahimik lamang, pero siya po ay gumagawa. Hindi siya madada, pero siya po ay lumilikha ng mga bagay na ikabubuti po ng bansa at ng sambayan ng Pilipino. O, nakakahiya naman siguro sa inyo. Baka naman, o oh, ang kasama po ng Pangulo ngayon dito 